Time is of the essence. Dion Sims admits it's a deep way to think about her grandmother. But Opal Lee turns 98 in three weeks, and few grandmothers have more left to accomplish. There is a, a, a ticking, is it, is it a biological clock? <laughs> Not to have a baby, but to see a dream burst. This is the vision. The nation's Juneteenth Museum nestled in Fort Worth. Opal Lee has been working on it. For ages. So she shares her family's sense of urgency. You don't think you're going to be around here much longer. So you want to see it happen before you go. Lee and others had planned to open the venue here, the same property where she began displaying her own collection in 2005. But it's become clear the property owner next door won't sell his land. That'd been a roadblock. Everything in God's timing. But new signs point to progress. This week, the Neighborhood Association threw its support behind a proposal to knock over this aging community center and put the museum here. It's just a block from the old site, and neighbors could use the new building for events the city-owned facility hosts now. It's all about revitalizing and bringing life back to the historic south side. A city spokesperson Tuesday would not say whether the site is for sale, only that Fort Worth is working with all involved to explore various options. But the museum's leadership believes it can open in 2026. They need to know their history, good, bad, ugly, so that the mistakes that were made aren't made again. One thing is certain, as long as Opal Lee has some say, the museum will not open on Juneteenth that year. She's got plans to walk to D.C. that day. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston.